G'day John for the hot end. This is part two of the video series that we're doing on the eCube Maker Toy Die 2. That's T O Y D I Y 2. Now, just a quick update from our previous video, which was the quick look video. This is a four in one machine which means it is a single extruder 3D printer, it is a dual extruder 3D printer, it is a laser engraver and a CNC carver. So in today's video we'll be looking at its 3D printing capabilities both single and dual. Now a little bit about the machine, it has a heated bed which is 315 by 315 and a height of 350. It has a bed that runs on rollers down here. We have rollers on the Z axis. We have two Z motors and lead screws and the X runs on a linear rail which is very nice. What else do I need to tell you about it? It's a very, very solid, very heavy machine. As I said in the previous video, it's well over 20 kilos. This base is very heavy. Before you actually start printing, there's a couple of things that you have to do. And the first one is not in the manual. And that is you need to make sure that your X beam is level and by level I mean level with the frame of the printer. Because this is so heavy and you have to manhandle it and get underneath it to do the wiring and what have you, there's a chance that this can go out of level. So it's a simple process. It's just a matter of measuring up to a point on the axis on both sides to make sure that it's level. Now. If it's not level, you just change it by holding one of the motors and turning the other one while it's turned off and until you get this nice and level. That's the same with any 3D printer that has two uh, Z drive motors that aren't connected together. Now the next thing you have to do, because it has an auto leveling system, you have to set the Z offset and I'm going to take you through that process next. Okay, we're going to look now at the process of setting up the Z offset. There are two ways of doing it and there's very clear instructions in the manual that comes with the machine. So the first thing we've got to do is to turn it on, which is back here. And then in the menu system, so that's the menu system. Now this is a just a basic LCD display controller. Now, sorry it's handheld, but that's the best I can do for now. So what we need to do is go down to utility. Press, then we're going down to Z offset. Press and there's the two ways of doing it, the automatic and the manual. Okay, the first thing to do is to do it in the automatic mode and then there's three steps as you can see. So firstly we're going to do the auto bed level and away it goes. Now during the auto bed leveling process the Z goes all the way to the top and back down again a couple of times. And as you can see, the Z movement upwards is very slow. So I'll be speeding up that process so that you don't have to wait around all day. But you'll see down here is the, Z le is the uh, bed leveling probe. Where are we? Here we are, the bed leveling probe. Now this is quite different, quite ingenious. You'll see there's a piece that goes down. Oh, 
where are we here and a piece on the top here with your probe where well, you can't really see it underneath now when this goes up to the top and reaches the top of the axis up here this piece here is just a metal piece sticking out and what will happen is that piece on top will contact that and set up the bed leveling probe and here it goes and that side piece clicked out and it's now going through the bed leveling routine now as I said this takes a little while so I'll be back in a sec well at that point the camera died so I couldn't show you the end of that process for setting the Z offset but trust me it's it's an easy process and the menus lead you all through it so it's fine at this point we would normally say and now I will run you through some of the prints that I was able to achieve on this machine and I will do that but the prints that you will see the first ones are the single extruder prints so single color single extruder then I will move on to the dual extruder prints that I was able to get and when we get to those um, I'll tell you a bit more about it alrighty so here we go with the prints so as I said these were the single extruder prints and I've got to say that they're, they're pretty good quality they're fairly high standard especially for a four-in-one type machine that doesn't specialize in either any um, the prints come out really nice the baby Yoda which I didn't let finish because it was going to take too long but that was at 0.12 millimeters layer height and it, that's come out as good as any printer that I've used so very very nice but then came the problems as you can see I managed to print the dual color test file no problem because the test file is a pretty simple straightforward stripe as you can see now I did it once in the filament that came with the machine and once with a different filament I thought yep yeah, that's that's looking good let's try some real fair dinkum two color prints fair dinkum for yeah you know what I mean so we got on to this print and I worked on this print for seven days straight at at least three or four hours a day trying to get the two color print successful I tried every conceivable setting in the eCube Wear slicer software that came with the machine I then got on to eCube Maker and said I was having trouble and they gave me all the files to be able to incorporate them into a normal Cura which was the latest uh, edition of Cura so I was able to import all those setting files into normal Cura instead of their slicer and although I managed to get it a little bit better because I could change things like retraction speeds and what have you I still wasn't able to get the thing to print nicely in two colors unfortunately I had to quit I referred it back to EQ Maker and said look I simply cannot get a fine two color print as in one with small bits I cannot get it to print properly it must be a firmware issue because I had the cartridge head apart dozens of times checking PTFE tubing and nozzles and the whole gamut of things that I would normally check but I just could not get it to print so it at the time of making this video it's back in the hands of um, EQ Maker to see if they can come up with a fix for the two color print anyway such as it is as a single color print fine in its current form as a two color print no cannot recommend it at all until they fix it okay that's all for the 3d printing video the next one will contain the laser engraver and the CNC engraver and I'll catch you on that one don't forget to subscribe. See ya.